Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Daryl. Welcome to Main RC Kings. Um, <clears throat> I'm here right now just testing out the rock crawling course I have been making so I can get like a group of us together out here crawling, having fun, maybe doing some competitions. But alright, well, I brought my TRX out here just to try it out. So let's get it. Like I said, I haven't tested this yet. First, I'll test my little incline here because I just put a new motor in it, a 29 turn. So we'll see how good it climbs. I gotta get better tires though. No, I don't even want to do it. Maybe I'll try in low gear and see what happens. No, wow, really? My other tire was better. I mean, my other motor. Wow, not at all. Maybe I'll put the other motor back in. Holy shit. Alright, well, let's try the course then. But yeah, this is the course, guys. It's come a long ways. You know, you got a big rock pile here. Yeah, I'm thinking about, I mean, I got a long space here, which in this section right here, it's hard to see because of the leaves. But I did make two indents on both sides because I was going to do like a mud running course where, you know, you got your start lines here and two trucks fucking go and then it'll come down to here, you know. Probably have a little lump, a little lump here, climb over that lump into another spot and then you climb out and you do the rock crawling course. You know, you got going down this pallet here through a little indent. And then you climb up over a hill, you come underneath the bridge, up that way. I'm not sure what I'm going to do after this part. I'm not sure yet. Maybe have some rocks or logs or something so you can come around, go up on these rocks and everything. Or, I mean, instead of taking this pallet here, you can just come here, climb on the side of the rocks here, come this way take the bridge across, go down this way. I'm also thinking about doing some type of bridge idea, going up this tree and around, and then having some type of draw hanging bridge going across from this tree over, and then having it come back down. I mean, that's what I have in mind right now. I mean, right now it's just me working on it. Every now and then I might have one of my kids help me or Matt help me or somebody else help me. But right now this is all me doing it. I mean, it's looking good so far. I mean, from these rocks right here all the way up the bridge and all of this has been tested. But I haven't really test tested this rock pile yet or the pallet there. But we'll see. I mean, tomorrow I'm going to have uh, three trucks here go in on this. So we'll check, check it out and see how things go. We have the Red Cat Gen 8 and then um, my TRX. And then we'll have the uh, TRX Sport, which you guys seen on my channel before, the orange one. Or if you're new, you haven't seen it. Oh, roll over. I mean, it got up there, but it, I mean, it'll do it. It'll definitely do it. I mean, if you guys got any great ideas of coming up with like some nice rock crawling course ideas, hit me up in the comments. Let me know. I'm always down for great ideas. I mean, like a while back, I made an Axial SCX-10 which I think I have a video of that on my YouTube too. But I think it has like no body on it. No, there's one video with one red Jeep body and then I have a video when I put brushless in it with no body. 
I traded that for the Emacs that's in the videos too, which I traded the Emacs for that baby. Which I wanted to get back in the crawling stage because Matt got his TRX Sport. So I was like, oh, you know what? I gotta get one. So I tried trading my Emacs for one and I joined this one group on Facebook and I saw this one guy that had a TRX and he was looking for a basher. But he lived in Vermont. So I was like, oh, you know what? That's kind of far away. So, I mean, Matt offered to give me a ride there. So I was like, oh, you know what? Let's do it. So we ended up meeting him halfway in uh, New Hampshire somewhere. So it all worked out. I mean, I'm happy. I hope that I hope that guy's happy with the Emacs. I mean, I had fun with the Emacs. Super fun with it. But it was time to give it up. See, the bridge, look, the bridge looks up. Oh. As I say that, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna crash. I know. Oh, okay, whatever. Fall over. Be like that. Jeez. But yeah, I definitely like my motor better. This one doesn't seem like it's. I mean, it's climbing and stuff. It just. My other motor climbed that hill over there that I was just doing, no problem. I mean, I had to give it to her a little bit, but it climbed it. And I'm also thinking of upgrading my axles. Because right now I got the ones that I got to manually put in lock that comes on these. But I think I'm going to get um, axle, axles that went on the Sport. So the all-time lock. Because for some reason, I don't know if any of you guys have a problem with the Blazer TRX, but um, my my motor like heats up quick every time I switch it to uh, lock my dips or something. So I don't know what was going on with that. I mean, the motor that came on it when I traded it overheated and died on me. And I'm only running a 2S battery on it. And um, my new motor that I just swapped out of there for the other new motor I just got today overheated. It's not dead though, but it overheated. And so I took it out and I'm trying this one now to see if this one overheats. But I mean, I don't know. Yeah, see, I don't like the, I want all time like lock this. I think it would be so much better. <laughs> Dang. I mean, the, the other day I had no problem crawling all over this stuff. Like, no problem. But, I mean, I don't care if my truck's not making it or not for you guys. I just wanted to show you guys the course that I've been making and building, putting together. You know, I got a lot of areas out here that I can make a lot of different areas. Like right here, where we normally do our jumping. I gotta get some more of that black tubing, but this is gonna be a whole racetrack that goes up. I'm gonna have a wall up there that so you can do a sharp turn, come down through, climb up there, come down here, go between those trees, loop around, and then you're back here. So I mean, I got a lot of projects to do, but a lot of it's not gonna be done this year. I'm just trying to work on my rock crawling course until winter comes. So it'll be mostly done when, you know, mud season comes around. We all love the mud season time. Yeah, look at that. I can't lock. That's my di- Hey, there we go. Come on. I was going to say, it didn't seem like my diff lock was, was working. Oh my god. I think my truck's camera shy. Oh, there we go. Yeah, now you do something. And then you climb that section. And you can come underneath the bridge. Yeah, I mean... 
Uh, I got a lot more to do. But it's turning out alright, just for one guy doing it all, I guess. I mean, I had my uh, son helping me the other day. So, it's coming along. I mean, a lot more will be done. Hopefully I do a lot more before winter comes, which I got some time. So, but I guess I'm going to leave it at that for now, guys. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. I know we are going to have a nice time tomorrow, which I'm crawling. I hope my, my buddy just got a crawler too, so I'm hoping he can come along. If he can get a ride. So there'll be four trucks here tomorrow. But if any of you guys live near Sanford, Portland, Hollis, you know, anywhere like that in Maine, hit me up. Come crawl with me. I mean, we're always looking for more people to crawl with. Here we go. Alright, well, at that note, guys, I'm out. See you guys.